What up, what up, what up, what up? It's me, L Teddy 27. Good as night, dude. Right about the hood. Oh, dear God. I'm already eating a drink. Look at the damn mess. Just a damn mess. Please no. And yes, please no. What up, what up, what up, what up, what up? What's up, people? What's up? What's up? It's me, L Teddy 27, and I'm back. Not for another review. Not for another video, just a regular average video, because as you all know, sometimes I traverse around the YouTube streets. Sometimes I go on Al Gore's Good Internet and walk through the streets of Al Gore's Good Internet. So I was walking through the good streets of Al Gore's Good Internet, and I saw some stuff that gave me pause, gave me real pause. So, wait a minute. This is in color, and I know with this and where we're going to go. We're going to go some dark places, literally, so I might need to do this in black and white. Wait, hold on. Let me try to make this black and white. <laughs> Fingers, let me try this again. I'm gonna try to get this right. There we go. Black and white. Yeah, because we gotta go all black and white because we're gonna go down some dark places and I have one brown and I don't want you to associate the brown with what we're about to talk about because we're gonna go some places that we don't need to go that only a proctologist should go. But we're gonna go there nonetheless. Anyway, what no parts of that? Oh no, oh no. We're going to talk about quarterbacks here in the NFL, namely one Mr. Deshaun Watson, because there are some allegations that are being made toward that young man. And I mean, who doesn't want their NFL, you know, starting quarterback riddled and mired in allegations that he's a sexual deviant or a sexual predator? Because when I think my starting NFL quarterback, I think sexual deviant or sexual predator. But while that is, you know, always the soup of the day in the NFL nowadays, dear God, Lord, I should probably say some of the things that are coming out <sighs> kind of give me pause. Give me pause. So at this point, there are three accusers, three women accusing, three women accusing Deshaun Watson, starting quarterback of the Texans, of the Houston Texans right now, at least, you know, even though he's screaming to be let out of his contract and sent to another team. But three women. The first woman claimed that he made her touch his penis. The second one claims that she made him force her to give her him some sloppy toppy okay sloppy to the toppy some dome some brain whatever you want to call it you know schlobbing his knob but we don't want to focus on the first and the second one because we've heard i mean we're talking about nfl starting quarterbacks we've heard this over and over again because i told you who doesn't want an NFL starting quarterback riddled and mired in allegations of him being a sexual demon and sexual predator we've heard these things in the nfl over and over and over again it's the second one who we're going to focus on. And that young lady who's a masseuse and said that he flew her out from Atlanta in the great state of Georgia out to Houston in the great state of Texas, where he wanted her to explore all of his little sexual proclivities and stuff. Mm. Mm. And, and, and they're allegedly was some anal play. I don't know. I, I, listen, I just reported as I've read it, there was allegedly, once again, I'll say some anal play. So, I, mm, you know what? Don't take my word for it. Let me get these court documents for y'all so y'all can see and read what I saw and I read in these good court documents. I'll post them right here on the screen right now. So here is, I'm not going to focus on the whole thing. We're going to focus on this one part where she said, oh, just one good paragraph. Let me put on my good, you know, <clears throat> newscaster voice. Plaintiff and Watson met at a hotel. Watson immediately got completely nude and got on the massage table with his penis completely exposed. Plaintiff firmly told Watson that he needed to use a towel to cover himself as that was the appropriate way of conducting a professional massage. Watson refused. Watson told her he, quote, gets hot easily, end quote, and for that reason, he wanted to remain completely nude. Plaintiff tried to give him the benefit of the doubt and started to think something was off as this is not how. She did massages and clients are supposed to be covered. Soon after, though, Watson agreed, I'm sorry, Watson kept aggressively redirecting plaintiff towards his anus. Watson asked plaintiff to use more and more oil on his anus. Plaintiff started to get uncomfortable, but again, she still wanted to give Watson the benefit of the doubt. 
and she needed the business and the money as a single mom of two. Watson then got more specific and asked plaintiff to work on the inner part of his anus. Watson got more aggressive, now telling Plaintiff, let me go back, she didn't say inner part of anus, inner part of the area, which was the anus part anyway, but she wanted him to work on the inner part of the um, area, which is the anus, which is, in my estimation, a good rib job, almost a pegging. Wait, what? <laughs> but we're not going to go down that road. Let's continue reading. Watson got more aggressive now telling plaintiff to go higher and higher toward his penis. Plaintiff said no and said she was confused because this is not where his glutes were located. Watson kept insisting, saying, quote, come up more and, end quote, and, quote, go here, end quote, toward his genitals. It was at this point that Watson moved in her direction, causing plaintiff's hand to touch Watson's genitals. Watson then flipped over on his back with his penis completely exposed. Plaintiff again told Watson, that he needed a towel or a sheet to cover himself. Plaintiff grabbed a towel and handed it to Watson, who refused to put it on. Plaintiff began to grow more and more uncomfortable. Plaintiff immediately then stopped the massage. She said she needed to leave. We'll stop there. Listen. Mm. I don't know. Mm. Come on now, make this shit make sense. What the fuck y'all find these people at? L listen, I, now, I mean, maybe we should see this as normal for our starting NFL quarterbacks to want the inner part of his ass crack around the anus area to be massaged on with more and more oil. Bitch, what? What? Huh? To lubricate it so as to make it easier for insertion, maybe? I don't know, y'all. Listen, I'm not going to make any assumptions. I just read the court documents. Allegedly, at this point, there are up to nine, count the nine women that are alleging that there's been some type of sexual misconduct by Deshaun Watson, which would at this point make him a sexual predator. I don't know. Just tell y'all what I saw. I'm just focusing in on one. Y'all can get down in the comment section and tell me what you think. But the last time I checked, well, I don't know. I'm not checking. He could be into pegging. He could be into rim jobs. I don't know. Only listen. I don't know nothing about pegging. I don't know nothing about rim jobs. I'm just here to report on what I see. Y'all get in the comment section and tell me what y'all think. Do you think Deshaun Watson likes it up the anus? Likes it up the booty hole? Like his ass crack parted? by, you know, Moses's rod or staff. Just asking. Or a friend. Hi, friend. Anyway, that's all I got for y'all. I'm going to get out of here. Let's get in the comment section. Y'all tell me what y'all see in this. I, I, you know, if you can, if you got updates, put the updates in the comment section and we'll go from there. Thank y'all for coming. Y'all drive safely. I'm out.